Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I am James and you are watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Thank you again to all the new subscribers. You guys are absolutely beautiful. I love each and every one of you for helping to support this channel. Today we are talking about the Northern Blue Tongue Skink. I get a lot of questions on this particular lizard a lot. And he's kind of chilling out right now. I, uh, haven't opened up the door yet because he likes to skedaddle the second I open the door. But a little bit about these guys. These guys come from Australia, so they like it hot. Not hot like Salcata, but they still like it pretty warm for their basking spot. Um, diet for these guys is actually pretty awesome because they like a mixture of everything. Uh, veggies, fruit, earthworms, insects, uh, greens, Oh, there he goes. He's picking through. He's like, ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Huh? Are we doing a video on me? Obviously, blue tongue skinks, as you saw right there. Yep, see, he's skedaddling. As you saw right there when he did the tongue flick, um, blue tongue skinks get their name from their tongue, obviously. But... Today's actually been kind of crazy because we had a fan-footed gecko uh, escape like four months ago. And because he's arboreal, we couldn't catch the little bastard. But today I was hanging up Christmas lights and he showed his face and I caught him. And I hope this is like the fourth time he's escaped uh, because we used to have him in a front opening enclosure. And the second that mister would go off, bam, he was out the door. So now he's in a top opening enclosure. I know you're like, well, if he's arboreal, then why would you have him in that? And it's just because it's the most contained. I don't like the fact that it's top opening, but I put baby snakes that have a tendency of escaping in an enclosure like this. So anyway, back to the blue tongue. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, how are we doing? How we doing? So back to it. Uh, the big thing with these guys is their size. These guys can grow up to 22 inches in length. This is just a juvenile right here. Um, he's about, oh, I'd say like nine to 11 inches right now. I haven't pulled him out recently uh, to get an overall measurement on him. But now, <laughs> Here's the kicker. So as most of you know, reptiles have a very long lifespan and that is no different from the blue tongue skink. Oh, that, that's, let's see if I can take a picture there. Um, blue tongue skinks can live on average about 15 to 20 years, but they have been known to go all the way up to 30 years. Are you smelling around? Yeah. You're like, why are you in my enclosure? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's such a serious face. Yeah, same with our Savannah down low. She's like, you have food? Yeah, she is right there. <laughs> but anyway, back to the blue tongue. So 30 years. So if you are interested, and I know the Northern Blue Tongue Skink is very, very popular but just be prepared for the long haul. Uh, these guys are super docile in nature, very calm, very gentle. They're, they don't wig out like monitors do, but... Oh, sorry. Hi. Oh, are you gonna come up closer? Enclosure size for these guys, they should be in a four foot long by two foot wide by about two foot in height. These guys aren't going to be climbers. Um, the enclosure that he's currently in is a four by three by 18 inches tall. So, um, and this is adult size enclosure. So this is what he would need as an adult. Man, you are just so interested in what's going on. And you just running that tongue. Yeah. Yep, just running the tongue. I keep trying to get a picture. <laughs> uh, 
Hi, Goober. Yes, I named my blue tongue Goober. Because he is. He's just so inquisitive. You're too close to the camera. Everybody wants to see you. Are you going to come out? Are you going to come out? See, right here, like, <laughs> yeah, he wants to come out. I don't even have to try with these. The, the blue tongues are just an absolutely amazing reptile. They really, really are. Uh, they're so inquisitive and so curious about everything. <laughs> yes, you are. But I don't want you falling. So we covered uh, enclosure size. Temperature for these guys, basking spot should be between 105 and 115. Are you gonna, gonna try to come out again? You're like, ooh, what do you taste like? Ooh. The cool side of the tank should be down in the 70s um, at night. These guys need both UVB and uh, their basking spot as well. Let me see if I can zoom out. There we go. No, where are you going? That's a long fall if you fall. We don't want you falling. You're like, but I want to see what's out here. Hey, I know. See, I see that he's calm, but he's getting mad because I'm not letting him out. <laughs> you're such a, you're such a stinker. Why don't we guide, there we go. We guide you that way, behind the glass. That way you can't be a stinker. <sighs> they can do love bites, uh, as you saw, but I mean, <laughs> they're really slow about it. I clearly could see him going, um, what are we doing? No, you, you see how long, and this, this, this is just a sub-adult. Or I call them babies because they, they get much, much. I mean, they're so thick. You're just, are you trying to be the next escape artist? Is that what you're trying to do? Huh? But you can see if you're interacting with uh, blue tongues, um, I call this walking. You saw how every time he comes out, <laughs> I just slowly set him back. And then I wait for him to do it again. Eventually they get it that they can't come out, but yeah. Humidity for these guys should be 40 to 60%. Um, the soil should be a sand and soil mixture. You can see there's some calcium sand in here mixed with jungle mix. These guys are burrowing species. And so you need about four inches of substrate. That way they can create a hollow or a burrow. <laughs> Such a poop. Uh, what are you doing? He's like, there's so much new space out here. We also give them a shallow water dish, uh, something because they don't have a whole lot of height to their body. Um, I wanna make sure that they can get in and out if they need water. Um, we also have a hide back there. Um, you're like, well, what's all the straw for? This was actually in this setup um, it, because we had sulcatas in here. We cleaned it out, um, but I figured that when we threw new uh, straw in, I was like, well, it'd be a perfect little hiding hole for him. He also has a bigger hide over there um, that's by the basking spot. And so that way he can feel the heat, but he's not getting the direct heat if he wants. Um, I also have like fallen limbs in here so that he can move around like he would in the wild. Uh, but yeah, make sure to give them multiple, multiple hides. You're so cute. I'm just taking lots of pictures of you while we're doing this because you're just being so adorable. Uh, temperament, guys, we already talked about that. They're very, very docile. If they are going to give a little nip or a little bite, it's because they're getting frustrated. Um, handling is an absolute must for them. Um, but I say must, but you just need to work with the animal. So... If you don't touch the animal for, let's say a couple of years, don't be surprised if it lashes out. But if you work with it every day for, let's say 15 minutes a day, then 
it's going to be a lot more docile. Goober here, I mean, they're docile in nature as it is, but they have bad days just like any other reptile. So, now price on these guys, I'm trying to focus here. You're making this really difficult. Prices on these guys vary a lot. Now, Northern Blue Tongues have so many different morphs. The newest one being the Ivory. These guys can range in price from a couple hundred bucks all the way up to five to 10,000. I think the Ivories right now we're going for about five grand, which is just absolutely insane. Did you just lick me? So, if you are interested in a Northern Blue Tongue, they're absolutely amazing animals to have and they're always i mean you'll never be bored with them isn't that right you just want to be on camera you're like oh look at me i'm so handsome look at me <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know this one's been requested for a while um we finally got a northern blue tongue in so i wanted to do that for you guys as always, guys, thank you again for subscribing and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Goober here is trying to say goodbye. If you are new tuning in for the first time, <laughs> oh, you're so weird. Please consider subscribing. As always, guys, thank you so much and we will see you next time.